Welcome to the VHF UHF channel. So here I am tuned to a two meter amateur uh, net, 147.015. So the frequency is here at the top. One of the things that you should know is that if you click at the top of a number, it actually increases. And if you click at the bottom of a number, you decrease. So if you need to adjust the frequency from the frequency display here at the top, remember that trick. And it works on every digit. So for example, if I want to go really quickly from 147.015 to 1.1 gigahertz, I would just go to the top here, and now I'm 1.147 gigahertz. Just to give you an idea. I could now drop down if I want to go back to 147. Same thing. You want to tune, you want to tune quickly to a frequency. So an example here is um, I want to go and check the news outlet frequency that I have locally here where it's like an open microphone in a studio. It's on 450.875. What would I do? You could, of course, punch in the frequency, but I often find it almost quicker to just go to the digits and tune to the frequency manually. And remember, if you go down, you can actually just do this and go down. So, you know, you can just play around with the digits. So depending on what you want to do. But it's, uh, you know, kind of quite fast to actually go here and go to your favorite frequency. And here I am. This is the frequency I was mentioning. This is an open microphone for a local, um, for a, a local uh, station. Whoops, it's 825, sorry. Here it is. So this is a TV station here in the city of Montreal that has, it's uh, kind of a, a microphone or a studio to transmitter link. And you hear stuff sometimes that are kind of interesting. Now I would like to hear, um, you know, the uh, local NOAA weather station. Well, okay, here it goes. One, six, Two, five, five, zero. And isn't that, it's pretty quick to tune around doing this. So that's one thing you could do actually, and uh, try out when you want to actually punch in a frequency. Um, it is quite fast, and a lot of people don't know that the upper and lower, that's why there's kind of a little, you know, blue, red red, blue. There's a little something here. So the, if you put the mouse pointer on top or bottom of the number, you'll be able to tune in quite uh, fast on the frequency you want to actually go to. And for sure. Another thing that people don't know. So you see here, I'm going to change a frequency. If you put, say I want to go back to that frequency of 450-825 very quickly with the keypad on my computer. I would go on the megahertz, so it's 450, which means it starts here in the hundreds of megahertz. I just put the arrow there, and now I'm gonna do 450.825, enter. And here I'm in, automatically. Now I wanna hear the uh, Burlington NOAA weather station. It's on 162.400. I'll position my pointer just here and do one six two four zero zero enter light and variable winds once you see real quick also another tuning uh, lesson another tuning thing that you might want to do depending on the frequency where you're tuning steps are different some ranges in the VHF for example are five kilohertz apart some ranges are 12.5 kilohertz at the UHF range for example Airband, 25 kilohertz. These are standard um, standard steps, if you want, for tuning. And the arrows here on the right and left side of the step are here to tune around. So I want to tune here, but I don't want to tune in 12.5 kilohertz steps. I want to tune in different steps. So I'll choose the step. I'm going to choose 5 kilohertz by clicking. And now... I can go down and go 5 kilohertz at a time on the different, you know, tuning. If y'all want to just tune around and check out what's available around here. 
So this one is the Sherbrooke weather station here in uh, in Quebec. So these are different ways of tuning around on your frequency range uh, to make it as easy as possible to punch in or just go to whatever frequency you want to tune to. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.